In this video, we'll discuss the ability to copy listings from your Etsy shop to your Shopify store. If you look at the right sidebar, you can see which shops these listings currently appear in. If you see multiple icons, this indicates that this listing has already been copied. Listings with a single icon only exist in the shop you're currently viewing. You can copy listings both in bulk and individually. To copy an individual listing, hover over the listing you'd like to work with and click the copy icon. You will see all of the shops currently connected in Vela. To copy the listing over, select the other store you would like it to appear in. To transfer over listings in bulk, select all the listings you'd like to copy. After everything is selected, click the copy icon up at the top and choose the shop you'd like to send them to. Let's head over to the Shopify store we just sent those listings to. Clicking the status bar will take us to the copy section of the other shop. You can also get to this view by clicking the copy tab from the main listing view. As you can see, our copied listings appear here. From this view, we're able to make any edits before sending these products to the new shop. It's important to note that the listings in this section will not sync to the new store until we publish them either as a draft or as an active listing. You will see each listing now has a copy badge next to it. A green badge will appear when a listing is ready to publish on Shopify. Red badges indicate that the listing is incomplete and needs to be edited before it can be published. Since each listing has a green badge, they are all ready to be published as is, but let's go ahead and make some edits before sending them off. We can make changes both individually and in bulk. Starting with this product right here, let's go ahead and add a new photo that will appear in our Shopify listing. As you can see, this new listing is separate from the original listing. However, they still remain linked. If we click to the other stores tab, you'll see that our choices have not affected the original Etsy listing. Additionally, from this view, you can create another listing with this information, but we'll hold off on that for now. Clicking publish down here in the bottom right, you can decide to save these changes in the copy section, publish this product as a draft, or make it an active listing in the shop. Let's go ahead and save it as a draft. Navigating back to the main view, let's reselect all of our listings. If we click this button right here at the top, we'll enter the familiar bulk editor where we can make any edits before publishing these listings to our Shopify store. If there are any errors preventing these listings from being published, you'll be able to filter out the selected listings based on what errors they may have. Since all of these listings are good to go, let's go ahead and add a new photo and save these changes. Returning to the main view and selecting all of our listings once more, we can hit this button right here at the top to publish or save them as a draft. Once these listings finish publishing, you'll see them as active products on your Shopify store. One final thing to note, you are also able to copy listings into the same store this can be beneficial for creating templates for future listings. To do so, follow the same steps that we've gone over, but this time, select the shop that you're currently in. Once again, from the copy view, you can make any adjustments needed. Just as before, let's go ahead and save it as a draft. Once the status bar finishes, these listings will now be added to your Shopify store.